Good morning. Woo. Let's get the camera. Let's get the camera right. Um, how are you? Come on in. Welcome. Uh, this is uh, Melanie Ferguson coming in live. Just wanted to say good morning to you guys. It is a wonderful Wednesday uh, here in North Texas. Um, I run the blog Southern Crush at Home. And if you are catching me here, you are watching either on my page, which is a supplement to the blog, or on my YouTube channel live, where that is also a supplement to the blog. Welcome. Let me know where you, which one of those you're watching from, first of all, and that you can hear me loud and clear um, so that we can get started today. We have some fun in store. This cup is available in my shop, uh, minus the lip stuff, y'all. It's been a morning. <laughs> uh, but I am so glad you are here with me. We're going to celebrate today. We're going to celebrate Wednesday. We are so grateful today. Listen, if you were with me live yesterday, you saw <laughs> my big, um, I'm not going to even call it a fail because it really, I mean, the only part that was on me was that I didn't try it first on this particular glass, uh, but my project did not work out. But you know, you know, you win some, you lose some. I've done that project multiple times. So it wasn't my first time to share with you how to etch glass, but yeah, so that happened. Good morning, Shelly Roberts. Hello. Hello, Debbie. Good morning. Rosa, she's joining us from over on YouTube. Kimmery, good morning, my friend. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Linda Harris, good morning. All right. I'm going to point the camera down and we're going to get started. Hmm turning on overhead y'all I feel like Captain Kirk like seriously you guys know the drill the drill I am going to turn on my glue gun don't worry don't worry you don't have to remind me good morning Miss Doris you're beautiful no you're beautiful <laughs> Laurie Karens happy wonderful Wednesday yay Great audio, she says. Thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. All right, I'm going to point the camera down. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One time ever, someone said, don't sing. And I'm like, okay. But sometimes it just comes out. <laughs> sometimes you cannot help it. Sometimes it just, you've got a soul down in your heart. A soul down in your heart. I hope you have a soul down in your heart. <laughs> Yo, you have a song down in your heart and it comes right out regardless of what you think or what you try to do or not do. So just to get us started, I want to show you the pillow that we are doing uh, the project with. This uh, pillow case, sorry. So this is just a regular king size pillow case. I don't know that you actually have to have a king size pillow case. And if you are new to me, welcome. Just say new below and I will get with you a way to connect a little better than just right here. So this, um, so you, if you're not new to me, what I'm trying to say is that you know that a lot of this stuff I am just doing for the first time with you. So this is one of those things. Welcome to day two of me winging it. I'm not going to do the chicken dance in my chair, y'all. Okay, good morning. We are definitely crushing the video. If you um, are feeling so uh, inspired, do this. Just do this real quick. If you're over on YouTube, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you can be informed every single time I put out a video. New on YouTube, Miss Sandy Burns. Welcome, my girlfriend. We're so glad you are joining us this morning. All right, somebody must be having a birthday because everybody's commenting happy birthday. So what I'm saying is I don't know, but I don't think that you have to have a king size pillow case. I'm thinking a regular standard size pillow case would be just fine. But for our purposes, this is the one I had spare. It's super cute. I'm loving the... Um, leopard print. Thank you for crushing the video. Right, Patricia? Patricia is my sweet, um, she is my sweet 
hot glue gun reminder um, hall monitor. That's what it's called, right? Glue gun monitor. Donna's new here. Welcome, Donna. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to point the camera down. We're going to just take this uh, pillowcase as seen on TV. Uh, no, just here on this channel. Um, and we're going to take just some fabric scissors. You guys, you got to have your fabric scissors. I'm just going to take off this little, um, what, is there like a name for this part right here where it's just the end that's doubled up? We want to get rid of that because it's just a little bit different um, texture and feel since it is, um, since it is doubled up. Woo. And we're off and we're off like a herd of turtles. All right. So we have this part removed. Love, love, love. And this is perfect for other projects. Look, it looks like a taffy pull or something, you know, you don't know. The hem, Laurie, you're right. That's exactly right. Oh my word. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay. Then I'm just looking at this pillowcase a little closer here, trying to figure it out. Um, I think we're going to, I think I'd like to single it out, but I think, I think we're going to double it up first and just see if this works. So basically I'm just taking, um, one inch sections like I would a messy bow. So for those of you who've followed me for a while, you know about my messy bow. So if you do, let me know in the comments below and um, tell everybody else if you love the messy bow. It is super, super duper easy to make. I have an entire bow board up here and there are several messy bows up here. Um, you've got this spring one that I did. You've got this tie dye one. Um, this other bunny butt one that I did that was so cute, but basically it is kind of like a rag bow. I've done several of these live and recorded over on YouTube. So, um, we're going to treat it sort of like that, but that is, that is not the look we're going for. Uh, we actually are going to be making a different type of bow today. So hang with me. I just wanted to show you kind of the concept. I think what I will do is at least cut this at the edge. And I'm just cutting along the seam of the pillowcase. You know, like an expert. Like an expert. Whoops, went out of the lines. And I love this because again, this is going to be one of those bows that does not have to be perfect. So I have the material in half. I need to clean my workspace y'all. Do you ever have like a messy workspace? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I see this little tag. I'm going to take the tag out and let's see what else we're going to do to the material. Okay. We're going to keep it connected at the fold. So I'm keeping it connected right here at the fold, but I think I'm going to cut up the other side of the hem as well. I mean, the, I'm now I got hem on the brain of the, of the, um, fold as well, whatever this is, seam, seam. And if you'd rather be more exact and you have a seam ripper and you just want to do it like that, you go for it, girl, you go for it. But now I have this entire piece. Look at how much material I have, you guys. It goes forever. Let's see how much material it is just for fun. If, you, if you're here for it, let me know. Let me know. We'll, we'll measure it real quick. So 24. I used to love, love, love 48 going to the fabric store, you guys. Uh, and I loved the sound of them cutting. Okay. And then what's 12 and 48? Sorry. I never promised there would be no math. 12 and 48 y'all. 10, 58. 
60. <laughs> it's 60. It's too early for math. So we got 60 inches of fabric here. That's pretty awesome. Now we got to make something with it. So let me show you. This is going to be so awesome. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I am so glad you're here. Did I tell you that already? I am. I am so glad you're here. Sometimes a girl just needs her friends. So let's point the camera down again. I'm going to double this up. Am I? Am I? I think I'm not. I think I'm going to keep it single and I'm going to make it an extra long thing. Let me just see how long it is folded up. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I need it to be extra long. So we are going to cut one inch little um, notches throughout the entire piece. Okay. Let me know you can see it great and that we are good to go. So it doesn't have to be exact. I'm just giving us notches about every inch or so. And I totally stopped using the markers because I'm just eyeballing it and I went too fast. Oh, so now we've got our notches, just like a messy bow, just like a messy bow right here. So you can kind of see back and forth, floppy little notches. And then here comes the fun part, you, my friend. We are going to rip the fabric. Yay. Oh, thank you, Miss Jill. Listen, if you all are just hopping on for the first time, uh, I'm doing 100 days of live videos here on my Facebook page. And so we are on day 24, 24. Um, if you want to catch up, I have a link that's pinned at the top that tells you how to do that. Okay, so we're just going to take this little notch and we are going to rip it all the way down the entire 60 inches of fabric. And we're hoping it stays together. Woo, it's doing pretty good. Woo. It's going, it's going out of the lines a little bit, but we've got us a strip. We've got us a strip. So we're going to continue that process to all the notches that we've done while we chat. So basically what I was trying to say was I used to love to go to the fabric store and I love the sound, not of them ripping, not of them ripping, but I loved the sound of them cutting the fabric on the stinking cutting board thing that they would use. Um, so my mom would shop and I would sit where they would take the little orders of the, um, how much, you know, fabric do you want? And I would just watch them cut that fabric all afternoon because my mom spent a long time there. She drug me to all the stores and she spent a long, long time in there because, you know, that was back in the day when, um, when if you wanted something special, you had to make it. I mean, you literally had to make it. So instead of shopping department stores, you would shop patterns. And so my mom would spend hours, sorry, that's so loud, I know. My mom would spend hours shopping the patterns and they would be in these big drawers and you would just kind of thumb through them. You'd look through the huge catalog books first, pick out the, you know, cuteness that you loved and then dig into the big drawers Finding your pattern on the number and letter is how they were organized, kind of like a library. And, uh, and then you would go pick your fabric, and then you would have them measure it and cut it. And then uh, you would go home and make it. I cannot be accused of doing much of that, but I did witness a lot of that. <laughs> Melissa loves that sound too. Yes, girl. So we are just taking out any stress we have onto this fabric, the poor fabric. Hi, Cindy. Thank you. I hope you have a fabulous day too. I love the way they would flip the bolt and just know when to stop. Pamela, you are speaking my languages. I love that too. They would literally take the long bolt and just go dunk, dunk, dunk. 
and they knew, but they did it all day, girls. They did it all day. And that's what, how you get good at things. So I have a lot of friends on here that are intimidated to make bows, right? Don't be intimidated to make bows. Bows are just as hard as you make them. I'm pointing it down a little bit. And so uh, you can totally, just wanted to, for the people who wanna see how it's going. Hold on, where am I? There. We are, we have a whole pile here going. Your mom made all the clothes until you got into high school, Tony Lynn, right? I'm trying to keep the messy part to the side, but it keeps finding its way back into, back into the fold. All right, we are right here. We are almost done. We're about halfway through. This is going to be gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But yeah, bows do not, do not, but bows do not have to be um, difficult. All right. And they can be made with just about anything that you have. It does not have to be fancy, expensive rib, rib, rhythm, ribbon. It can be like this. I just want to show you guys, you can make a really gorgeous bow from something like an old pillowcase. I've had this pillowcase for about 15 years. Now I know it's fancy, it's leopard, it's cute, you know, all the things, but um, it is still a pillowcase. So Dollar Tree sells sets of pillowcases. You could get two set two pillowcases for $1.25 and make yourself one of these uh, bows. So get creative. Or if you go to a yard sale and there's old sheets or um, a thrift store and there's a cute set of sheets, you could be making these bows all through the holidays for all of your friends. All right, we've got two more tears. Two more tears. I'm getting all tangled into the threads. But, yeah. And the store that we had was called Cloth World. Loved, loved, loved going to Cloth World. Even as a child, which is possibly strange. Um, okay. So that, that, one, that one finally tore off. <laughs> so I have two short pieces. Let me grab that other short one. Where did it go? Was this it? I feel like that might've been it. Anyway, this is good for your arm muscles, guys. Ah, it just cut me. A string cut. This is good for your arm muscles because I'm telling you, my arm is tired now. Do you see all this string? <laughs> so we want to kind of work with the string. I'm going to get rid of the scissors. We're done with our fabric scissors. And I have this huge pile. So all I'm going to do is de-string it. In North Texas today, it is not raining, but it is overcast. So yesterday it rained, the day before it rained, and totally not complaining because everything at my house was dead. The bushes, the grass, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's dead. Sometimes stuff surprises you and comes back, but for the most part, it was dead. Tony Lynn, your grandmother uh, made a lot of yours and sister's clothing items because your mom didn't sew. Yeah, sewing is definitely something um, of a lost art. And it's not something that everybody just, you know, automatically knows how to do. And I hope that we can get into some sewing projects during my 100 days of lives. Um, I got a new sewing machine. A new? I got my first sewing machine um, a few months ago. And I'll be honest, you guys, I haven't even gotten to use it. It's sitting right over there. It's so cute. It's hot pink. You love this Cloth World store too, Tony. I understand. All right, I'm not going to have time to get all of the strings off of these, but I'm going to just grab these huge chunks that are sort of kind of like right here. I might still need my fabric scissors. No, they're, they're coming apart. See, do you see how much they're like, I can't work with it with that much. And that's just natural. And that it's what gives us this pretty jaggedy edge onto the strips of fabric. So you want 
to have all the strings, but you want to go ahead and get rid of them after you finish tearing your pillowcases. Okay, my friends, let's assemble this bow. Let's, let's work with what we got. We can pull strings. Uh, let me get one more set of strings. We can pull strings out as we go as well. Be careful getting your scissors in here for the strings because you might accidentally cut uh, material. Okay. Oh, oh, and I have something to tell you. I always have something to tell you. I never run out of things to tell you. That's like a thing, I think. All right. Seriously. We're going to call this mess done for now. Okay, so here is our pile of fabric strips, and we're going to assemble them. So literally, we're just going to take one at a time. They are super long, like we said, 60 inches each for those of you who are counting. And we're just going to spread them out one at a time. Oh yes, my mom made me a dress for one of my proms because I couldn't find anything I liked. But I liked a little bit of this dress and a little bit of that dress. And I wasn't easy on my mom, y'all, go figure. Um, and I was like, can you just make it up? Because there also was not like a pattern for what I liked. Go figure, <laughs> go figure. And so, um, she literally had to make a pattern. That was the most miserable thing in the universe. She made a pattern on my body. I had to stand there while she made the pieces of pattern. And she, you know, she's like, can you stand still turn around? And I would get poked and prodded. Um, but at the end of the day, it was a beautiful dress. It was so unique. Obviously there, there was no other dress like it. And, uh, and I loved it. So it was worth the pain. It was definitely worth all the pain. Gina, your mom always made your prom dresses. I love it. Um, we would go to the store and pick out a dress that we loved and your mom would get the patterns. Isn't that fun? Isn't that fun? That is what the world needs more of today. That kind of creativity. Go pick out what you like and then make it. That's what I do when I take y'all to some of these places to go shopping. I'm like, just get inspiration because a lot of people will get really hung up on the fact that like, well, we don't have one of those stores where I am or, you know, and they just stop watching and they miss the point. You know, there's so many things in life that if you would just slow down, pay attention, put on your, you know, thinking cap, your creative brain, you would get so much more out of it and be like, well, I know I don't have one of those stores, but look at that thing that they have in the store. Isn't it the cutest thing ever? I can make one of those and just get really creative. Y'all, there's a string that's gotta go. Okay, last few pieces here and we'll have it ready to assemble. Well, this is assembling, but last few strips that's what we're going to call them pillowcase strips do you hear all of it snapping and barking at me last piece it looks like several pieces but it's just one piece okay next step next step oh okay here we go I didn't tell you what supplies you'd need because on, honestly, I didn't know what supplies you would need yet. <laughs> Y'all, I'm bad. I'm really bad. Okay. I'm going to once and for all get rid of our string mess. It's kind of in my way. And I'm going to take this set of strips in my hand and shake it out. So I'm just shaking out. I'm back. I'm just shaking out the strings and it's okay that it's different levels at the bottom. All right. So we have different levels at the bottom. 
we have this at the top. We are going to simply make a bow, but you're going to need a zip tie for it. Let me see if I want this one. Yeah, I think so. Did I ever get, no. Oh, wait, I did get new zip ties. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, these are little. Yeah, I don't, I don't need little zip ties. I need big zip ties. We'll use this one. It's fine. And then we're just going to do one of those. Um, let me point it down a little more. We're going to use one of those um, crisscross My ring's getting stuck in it. Everybody's here for the party. Crisscross bows. And I'll show you on a single piece when we're done so you can see exactly what I just did. But I literally just made like a bow shape at the top. I'll make it a little bit bigger. Making sure I have plenty of strings at the bottom. Strands, strips, whatever you want to call it. Try to make it a little easier for you to see. So I've made a strip, um, I've made a bow side here and I've made a bow side here just by gathering it in my hand, okay? So it's not anything special. And then I'm gonna take my zip tie, cause you guys know how I pretty much only make bows with zip ties. And I'm gonna zip tie it right here in the absolute center. I just got it started. Now I'm flipping it completely over to what I'm considering the back to tighten it up. Okay, so here's where we are. Here is where we are with our highness. This is our highness. We're calling her. <laughs> now, <clears throat> sorry y'all. <clears throat> we have um, the choices here. We could totally leave our bow bow-like at the top or we could cut out the sides and make it like a messy bow at the top. But right now, this is like a traditional uh, rag bow made from a pillowcase. So I'm just calling it a pillowcase bow. But I want to put some signature bling in the center so that we can see how it's going to look in the long haul. And then I'm going to also show you uh, eventually how we can use this in some super cute projects. So let's pick the bling out together. <clears throat> Sorry, y'all, my throat is just uh, frogging up. Let's pick some bling together and let's talk about it real quick because this is what I wanted to tell you. Blah, blah, blah. So I have to tell myself sometimes, blah, blah, blah. I have like lots of choices for bling. I'm so glad you're here. If I haven't already told you that today, welcome. Welcome, wonderful Wednesday. All right, let's pick the bling. We are winding down this project. So I've got these choices inside of here. They're not, let's see, the only one I wanted to check on was this big one. Woo, she big. She might be the winner. Okay, we'll put her to the side. We've got gold and non-gold. Don't really love that one for it. That's too little. All right. Too little. And I'm not loving the rose gold. I feel like it's a little bit of a clash factor. So let me see what I have over here. I have lots of silver, lots of silver. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Ooh, I think I love that one. 
let's see what else we have. Oh, look at that. Can you see it? If you're having a hard time seeing, just turn your phone sideways and you will see the picture much larger. I don't know y'all, it's kind of between those two. I tried that yesterday for my project that didn't turn out real well. So that one's cute. Y'all let me know, just say stop. Look at the butterfly. You guys, so what I wanted to tell you was, I am partnering with my brand company that is uh, who I share all the time, my sponsor for bling. And I am going to have a signature package of bling. I cannot wait to share with you the ones that I pick out. Okay. I love that one too. So let's make a decision here. I'm going to point it even closer. Y'all speak up. <clears throat> this little one. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Okay. This little one. This one that's kind of more subtle. I'm thinking she doesn't really shine much. This one. I'm leaning towards this one. Or this big one. Big bow, big bling. Go big, go home. What do you think? <laughs> you guys vote in the comments below. Let me know which one we should add. I'm going to check and see what you said. And then we will, we will apply it. So let's see what you said. Number two, uh, crushed it, said Rosa. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Ramos just came on. You're good. You can watch the replay for sure. Donna says the big one. Elaine says the big one. Next to the last one, the one you really like, says Regina. Hello, Kate. Letty and Kelly both say number three, which I think was this one. The third one, the third one, not the big one. Okay, we'll go with this one, y'all. <clears throat> let's, let's get her attached. I'm sorry, I have to move my camera a lot. So let me move it down. And we will just attach this here. Just want to make sure I'm getting a good piece of the fabric. Make sure that the rest of this is where I need it. Because once I put the glue on, y'all, she done. So I'm just making sure all of my strips are coming, pointing downwards. And that at the top is literally just my bow. So do you see how, <laughs> how I have it stuck in my ring? Okay. And then I will fluff her, y'all, to, to, to pieces. But I've got the bow up here, the strips down here, kind of like a little, I don't know, octopus. <laughs> and then we're going to hot glue this right here. And fancy me, got my hot glue gun ready for us. So we are good to go. Just adding it in all four corners. Boom. Sometimes they have uh, little brooch pins on them so that you can just um, pin them to your project. But this one was flat, which is fine. So you can just hot glue it. Okay, I wanna show you how this entire bow looks. I'm just turning some of the strips around. Fluffing the bow. Okay. We're ready. Are we ready for the big reveal? Big reveal time. Big reveal time. <clears throat> Ta-da! She's so pretty, you guys. I promised she would be pretty and she is gorgeous. Look at her beautiful legs. Oh, to have long, thin, flowy legs like her. And then she's got beautiful, sparkling eyes. I'm totally making fun. Um, it's so cute, y'all. So cute. 
where are you going to use the bow on? Rosa, I will show you guys. Patience, my, um, what do they call it? Grasshopper. <laughs> I got to pose with the bow, y'all, for my thumbnail. Here we go. Thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. Um, Paula, <clears throat> this is filming in multiple places. So, so it has to be landscape. <clears throat> but if you flip your camera to its side, you can see the entire thing much larger. You guys, thank you for the hearts. Thank you for the stars. Y'all are super generous, super kind. Absolutely love, love, love spending my mornings with you. I wanted to tell you um, a couple quick things. Tomorrow's schedule is going to be a little bit different than usual. Not as far as the time. It'll still be 9 a.m., but we are headed out of town for yet another um, trip. And uh, we, I will be going live at 9 a.m., but I'm going to be sharing my favorites tomorrow. Um, and then I have a surprise for y'all on Friday and it, so, so I won't be doing favorites on Friday. I'll be doing my favorites tomorrow. Just making sure y'all, y'all had enough of seeing the bow. <laughs> um, so tomorrow it will be, um, putting this up here tomorrow. It will be, um, my favorite things and I will be live here on my YouTube channel here on my Facebook page and on Amazon Live. If you don't follow me on Amazon Live and you would like to, just type in Amazon Live um, and Google it and it should take you to the link. And I'll also try to pin the link here at some point um, today on my pages. Because I'll put it here below this video because um, it is a different experience over there in the app. And you might find some more like, inspiration and people you want to shop with too because it is huge y'all it's huge um but yeah i will be putting out my bling pack with totally dazzled uh soon and i can't wait to share that with you guys um but in the meantime a lot of prints going on what do you mean between mine and the one on it i love the leopard i love the leopard and i'm not going to um apologize is that what is that what you would say? Not going to apologize. Love the leopard. Love it in this color. And I love it in this color. So anyway, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did today. And I will see you guys first thing in the morning. Love you. Bye-bye.